We're going to pack for three weeks in North Carolina as well as New Orleans. One of the first things I pack is actually jewelry. I've actually received a couple of new pieces from this brand called Jewelry and they really specialize in customized, personalized jewelry pieces. So I picked up two things, which I've actually worn them both a few times. The first thing is this beautiful ring. It's like this gold plus diamond tea design, and you can customize the letters, of course. My dog's name is Hazel, and my cat's name is Lulu. So I just combined them and did Hey Lou. I love wearing personalized pieces because every time I look at the ring, it makes me happy, it is meaningful to me, and this is actually the perfect timing to consider personalized pieces, whether it's for gifting others, or gifting yourself. I will be linking a few more jewelry pieces that I think are super cool, super unique. There are pieces where literally I think you can project a picture um, as part of the jewelry, which is so, so cool. The next piece I got is this snake chain bracelet and it's not your typical snake chain bracelet where you can find pretty much any jewelry brand. You can actually personalize it. I actually have a phrase one in a million. It's just a really motivating message for myself to continue to be authentic to myself, to my style. It stacks really well with silver pieces. Of course, we'll be wearing this throughout my trip as well as this statement personalized ring. Bring quite a few pairs of earrings starting with this statement pearl hoop, this double chain earring, pearl studs, heart earrings, silver drop earrings. Then for necklaces, bring my pearl choker, dainty little red heart necklace. Lastly, a very statementy chain and pearl necklace. And they all fit in this tiny little pouch perfectly. And I also I'm going to bring a couple of hair accessories. I'm actually wearing this really cool velvet braided headband that I got from H&M and it also comes in this velvet bow type of thing. And then just a velvet scrunchie and everything fits in this pouch which will make sure that none of the jewelry fall off. And this is also very small and compact that I can very easily put in my Tory Burch tote. It is empty inside except for the jewelry pouch. I've definitely traveled for weekend trips with just this and it's been really great in terms of traveling. I will transfer all of these pieces into a suitcase when I get to North Carolina before the NOLA trip, but otherwise for road trips, because we're driving to North Carolina, I like to just put stuff in these big canvas totes. I'm gonna start with thinking about the NOLA trip because I've never been there and the weather there in December is basically spring summertime during the day and then fall winter at night. So I think layering is going to be key and you see my pair of cowboy boots over here. Because this is such a statement shoe, I am basically building my outfits around this pair of shoe, especially for the NOLA trip. So the first one is this polka dotted dress from H&M a few years ago. This was, I think, really popular when it first came out. And I still think this style is classic, but also very whimsical, really true to my personal style. And it'll go well with the pair of boots as well. When I'm packing for trips, I like to think from bottoms up because shoes, I can't bring that many pairs or I choose not to bring too many pairs of shoes so that I can have room for my clothing pieces. So I'm going to ground myself with this pair of boots and maybe I'll wear like a pair of just white sneakers to complete most of these looks. Then I want to think about my bottom. Because of the uh, variation in NOLA weather, I like to bring these shorter skirts as well as 
faux leather shorts. I also have this tweed overall dress that all give me a little bit of that French girl chic vibe. I'm really just thinking about the French Quarter in NOLA. I talked about this in my what to buy from sale video, this pair of Nordstrom legging pants are always with me every time I travel. The other bottoms that will be great just for traveling as well as chilling are a pair of joggers as well as I recently got this pair of really cool white legged corduroy pants from H&M. It feels really really comfortable as well as really put together. When it comes to tops, I like to start with the basic layering pieces. A few tanks in all the neutral color family. My bras all in neutral color. Additional layering things like this sheer top that takes up pretty much no space but you never know, it'll come in handy in terms of styling. My ribbed sweater that I've had for many years and it pretty much goes on any long trip with me because it's so comfortable to wear. You can even wear this under your chunkier sweater when the weather gets really cold. And I figure I'll bring this really cute with sheer sleeve um, sweater, cropped cardigan, as well as this really cozy green cardigan. Before we get into other sweaters, let's take a beauty break. I also have recently received the Merit Instant Glow Serum, which is their newest product release. This has a lot of skin loving ingredients like niacinamide, four types of hyaluronic acid, caffeine rich cacao seed extract, Japanese gold thread root, and it is pH balanced for healthy skin barrier. So a lot of great ingredients and I'm actually wearing it now. It is so comfortable, not irritating at all to my skin. In fact, on the packaging, it says that 100% found it non-irritating when they did the um, clinical testing. As you can see, my face already has a natural glow thanks to the Merit Glow Theorem. And on a daily basis, I typically just do my brows, which is what I just did. And I also like to use the Merit Complexion Stick, which is in the shade Bisque. So a lot of people use this as their cream contour, but this is actually the perfect shade match for my skin. So I would just kind of dot over the hyperpigmentation to smooth out my skin tone a little bit as well as under eye. I also like to use a damp sponge to blend in the product so that it is even more natural. Then I would go in with my Merit blush in the shade Beverly Hills. It is a beautiful kind of pinky corally shade so I just do two swipes on my cheek and you can either tap it out with your finger or I use the same sponge to blend it out to have again a more natural look. And to complete, I'll use the famous Merit Lip Oil. I have this in three different shades. This is the shade Marrakesh, which is a pinky shade. Voila! Now you have a great everyday natural look. While we're in the bathroom, let's pack my travel skincare and makeup. This pouch is from Super Great. I've talked about this app in one of my quarterly favorites video. It's a great app to discover new makeup skincare brands as well as learning tips from creators. And I do also have my live shows on Super Great. Before I put anything in, you can see that I already have clean makeup brushes for travel purpose so I don't have to worry about it before a trip. I have my travel razor, my q-tip, all the basics, my 
cone. I'll definitely just need to bring this Merit um, complexion stick. As you can see, it's really small, fits in perfectly. And of course, bring my Merit blush because I am mostly going to be chilling with family or just working from home. I just want to have very minimal look. I'm not going to put on makeup every day. So I think Merit products are just perfect. Of course, going to bring my Merit lip oil as well as the Instant Glow Serum. It is also 50 ml, so it's also travel friendly. This might be one of the OG all-in-one palettes that Charlotte Tilbury launched. You have all of your eyeshadows for a neutral look, your contour, your blush, as well as highlighter. So perfect for traveling and there's a big mirror in this as well. It also fits in the makeup bag perfectly and I will also need to bring my mascara, eyeliner, brow pencil, and another couple lip products to have some options and I think that is pretty much it. In terms of skincare, I'll put it in um, the daily leaf and what's great about this pouch is it has a compartment at the bottom so this is as you can see i already have my makeup remover sponge as well as oh i already have my like travel toner moisturizer etc i usually put my makeup and skincare in my carry on small bag in terms of chunkier knitwear i am bringing these four so two striped options one colorful option one colorful but not too colorful options i feel like this is a great thanksgiving sweater as well i just want to bring pieces that make me happy feel comfortable and are going to match with all of the other bottoms that I'm bringing. Tights for layering, silky sleepwear from Equator. And then something I always forget to pack for travel is actually a good scarf that can be used as a scarf or as a shawl or as a layering piece or even just at home when you're getting a little bit chilly but you don't want to wear so many layers scarves are going to be your best friend for outerwear i am wearing this mango coat also from mango teddy bear jacket again going for the cozy comfy and warming vibes and last but not least my current favorite jacket this is thrifted it's a beautiful wool tweed cropped jacket forgot to pack a pair of leggings this is the lululemon line that is the most comfortable pair of leggings especially for the fall winter time because the material is on the thicker side so it actually keeps me warm but i also love the pop of color oh this would go really well with my orange sweater. Before I forget, I got this really beautiful laptop pouch that I thought is, I mean, you can even use this as a clutch, but look at this orange boucle material. It is just one open pocket inside and I'm actually really excited to use this. As well as my travel bag, my Prada re-edition. I love this bag for traveling because you can wear this so many different ways. You can turn this into an evening bag or use this as a daytime crossbody. It's just so handy and you can even use the strap as a belt. And when I'm flying, I just put my small bag inside my big tote and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this really casual pack with me video and I will see you in one of these ones. Bye! Hey, so say goodbye!